Well, solutions are on the table as Denver deals with a wave of gun violence, and many of those cases involve teenagers. Yeah, one idea is to make changes to the criminal justice system. The DA's office is considering a special gun court. Kelly Worthman has been looking into this idea for us, and Kelly, now part of this would be designed to prevent crimes as well as prosecute them. Karen, it's called a handgun intervention program. It may not entirely stop this violence program or violence problem, rather, but some say it's a good start. We are at a crisis level right now. As youth gun violence continues to rise in Denver, community advocates like Jonathan McMillan are constantly working to find a solution. There's no magic pill, no magic wand. He sees hope on the horizon with an idea from the Denver DA's office. They're going to be very intentional about bringing in community. The plan is to create a so-called gun court. It's an early intervention program, much like other specialized courts for issues like substance abuse. Anything that we could do on the front end to um, hopefully deter a young person from going further down into the criminal justice rabbit hole is necessary. The plan is based on a similar program in Alabama. It takes a more empathetic approach to punishment, including family interventions, gun education, counseling, and connections to community resources. It sounds like a lot of the right pieces are in there. Uh, I just would love to make sure that the fidelity of the community piece is remains intact. Some argue the gun court idea doesn't tackle the violence issue head on, but Jonathan believes it's a step in the right direction. With careful oversight, yes. Now, along with Denver police, including some people here from the Denver mayor's office, the DA gave this presentation to the safety committee earlier this week. At this point, there is no timeline for when this gun court would go into effect or even if it ever will. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.